What a uh, historic day for the alliance between the United States and Israel to hear from President Herzog when he said, when the United States is strong, Israel is stronger. When Israel is strong, the United States is more secure. I couldn't agree with that statement uh, more. And I look back at the debate. I managed the floor resolution yesterday talking about anti-Semitism and racism and hatred. And I, I couldn't help but go back to my father's generation, the greatest generation, World War II. My father was a bombardier, bombed the Nazis. Uh, they took on one of the most evil forces known to mankind. One of the most evil forms of hatred and racism and anti-Semitism. And they defeated it. And it, out of the ashes of that war, that became the state of Israel. 2,000 years in exile, returning to Jerusalem, that's what Israel means to me. It was created because of anti-Semites, because of racism. And to see members in this Congress engage in that conduct, the very conduct that the greatest generation defeated, is absolutely disgraceful. And it's offensive to not only to every Jewish member here and member of Congress, but to everyone that calls themselves an American that stands up to this. It has no place in Congress, has no place in America, has no place in the world. I'm proud that our committee passed a special envoy for the Abraham Accords, because that will lead to true peace in the Middle East. And I introduced a resolution when it comes to Iran, as our special envoy, Mr. Maui, is under investigation, the top negotiator for the nuclear Iran deal. But as that's taking place, we will put onto the floor a resolution that states that it shall be the official policy of the United States that a nuclear Iran is not acceptable, period, full stop. That is where Republicans stand. I think that's where most members of Congress stand. And as Ronald Reagan said, peace through strength. It is through our strength and our alliance with Israel and our military economic cooperation that will truly be bring peace uh, in the Middle East. Thank you. And with that, I want to recognize our esteemed chair of the Middle East Subcommittee, Mr. Joe Wilson.